How's it going guys? Dre here, and welcome to a game called Titanic VR. Now this one is supposed to be, well, a game about Titanic obviously, but it's an educational game as well. Uh, as you can see by down here, VR education. So from what I understand, the experience tab is to experience what happened when the Titanic sank. If you don't know, the Titanic is a ship that sank in 1912. The actual game is driving a submarine down to the shipwreck, I believe, and doing missions. So that sounds really, really cool to me, but also the experience sounds so cool to me. So we're gonna check them both out. First of all, oh, we actually have two different experiences to do. We can do the crash or a wreck tour. Well, let's try the crash out and see what it's like to be on the Titanic during that very scary day. Titanic, on deck, 1.10 a.m. I mean, they even got the 1.10 in there, not just 1 a.m. Titanic's hull is damaged and rapidly taking on water. Captain Smith has ordered a full evacuation. Time to get off this thing. This is weird. I'm, I'm like reading text in a VR setting. It's very weird because all I see is black and it's kind of scary. This is a seated experience. Get comfortable and press select to begin. Uh, I'm standing, so hopefully we can stand and experience it. We'll find out real quick, though. Oh. Women and children, this way. Women and children. This is kind of cool. Head for that ship on the horizon. Transfer your passengers and tell their captain to come at once. Urgent. Can I walk around? Surely they can see our rockets, sir. If they can, can I get out on here. Responding. Oh man, as I can't wait. You can. This thing's going down, guys. I should probably listen. Please, sir, can't you see my wife needs help with the children? Sorry, You're screwed, dude. It's women and children only. You should know that by the movie, damn it. Okay, so yeah, this is basically like I'm in a movie. This is really weird. John, I can't manage it. Very cool. I need you. We'll just have to for next. But don't worry, Marie. I'll get on another boat. You go ahead. This, this guy's gonna die. Just so you know, your dad's probably gonna die. And I don't see any men board in lifeboats. I'm sure that Whoa, the this is so cool. I, I want more, like, movie-related games. I'm sorry I'm talking over these guys, by the way. I should probably focus. I'm sorry, sir. Women and children only. Emily, daddy loves you very much. This is real, man. I'm, like, standing with these people right now. You have to come with us. I'm so sad. This is... I didn't expect to go on a field train already. On the boat with your mom and your sister. Oh. Let me go with you. No. Oh my God! They're taking her. Please. They're taking her. I'm sorry, buddy. I can't, can't even put my hand on you because I don't have hands right now. All right. Well, at least your daughter's okay, right? The baby looks dead already. To be oh my God! This is so sad. Ready to ropes. Whoa. Whoa. So I'm a woman. What's up, ladies? How's it going? Just gonna chill in here? See you later, guys! I don't know why I got on. Father's favorite. Do you believe there's any real danger? Oh, no, dear. I saw men locking the watertight doors as I left my cabin. Oh, you're gonna be mad about that one, lady. There's some real danger here. What's up, dude? How you doing? Not having a fag? Whoa. Oh, dear. Didn't even say anything. Oh, God, he's coming! He's coming! Wait, are you coming? Did you just drop your hat? You don't really realize how big these boats are until you're here. Like in VR, I mean, look at this. We're still not even close to the ground. These ladies are still going on, I'm not even close. Oh! Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on? Hold off! We can't manage this boat with only one seaman. <laughs> we need more seamen. Get down here. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. He's doing it. It's so dark I can hardly see him. Look at that. Yeah, now we got an extra guy. Oh, sorry, lady. I'm like standing on you. Titanic. What? There's a guy trapped there. Mommy, I'm scared. I'm scared too. Oh. Ready to release the ropes. Hello? Aye, aye, sir. I saw somebody in the window. Okay, we've hit the water finally. There's water coming in. Oh, Get well, that's not good. In. The boat will founder. He's friendly. You won't fight. Would you There's like a to dog? Him? Hey, buddy. Touch the dog. Touch it. Oh, my God, it's so cute. So, so. While we're on this boat. Oh, my God, I want it. 
Let me touch it. Why do I not have hands? No, it was good of you to join us in the Oh, look, there's a boat joining us. Great. Okay, so it looks like they're lowering us down. I think we all know what happens next. The boat splits right in half. I don't want to see that happen. Is this baby okay? Like, seriously? Dude, are you okay? Ow, just hit my wall. Okay, let's not, let's not run in the walls. Oh, officer. Officer, look. Sorry. So sorry. I can't swim. What? Yeah, Where did this guy come from? Going. Was he hiding under there? I broke my arm. That's why I can't swim. Please, please Look at this guy. Stay. Throw I'm him overboard. I don't know why I'm here, by the way. Oh god, I'm gonna fall in the water. You're lucky I haven't thrown you overboard. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Don't fall off, dude. The movement will warm us. I am in charge of this boat. The women are not Why are we having arguments right now? Do you we not realize that people are dying behind us? The angle of our ship. There's so much drama. But There's just so much safe. drama. Man, Shall this I? thing's going down, guys. Just like, I'm slowly watching it. The watertight and it's going down. The watertight doors ain't doing shit! It's just a matter of time. When you look this way, it's kind of beautiful, you know? It's very dark, but... Kind of nice. But then you look over here and you see everybody dying, of course. Oh my god, it's already that far down? Alright, I gotta focus on this thing. Oh my god! Hey there, little guys! <laughs> okay, I am so easily amused. This is crazy. This is sad! This is supposed to be a realistic, serious video. And I'm playing with a little dog. Oh god. Oh, they're all yelling. That's not good. There goes the flares. She's going down, man. So it splits right in the half. Well, right in half. I can't wait to see that happen. This is supposed to take something like a few hours, though, doesn't it? To actually sink in real life. Obviously, with a game like this, you kind of got to rush it. I don't want to sit here for an hour. Mind you, this has been quite long, too. So it's really cool. I've never experienced a game like this. Love that the dog doesn't give a shit of what's going on right now. I mean, to be a dog, right? That would be great. People dying everywhere. He's taking a snooze. I mean, seriously. This thing is going... This man, this is quickly going down. So, that part goes up and then splits right in half. I think I hear it. Oh my god! Oh, that was so cool! Oh, this is amazing. I want to get closer! Let's roll to it! Oh, there, there goes the lights. Oh my god. This is such a cool experience in VR, guys. There it goes! I'm so glad I looked back! Oh my god! Yes! I don't know why I'm getting excited about this. This is obviously a very serious thing, but let's be honest. That was cool to watch. Alright, everybody. They're dead. We, we, we get it. They're in the water. They're dead. And there it goes again. Oh, man. So, to, to experience this in VR kind of makes it so much realer in real life. Like, this is freaking crazy. There it goes, man. Obviously, going a little bit faster than real life, but man. There it goes. Down to the bottom of the sea to be forgotten. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think it cut out. There we go. We fade to black. Oh, except for this lady. Hello? What the hell? What's going on here? This is weird. I don't want to just sit with... What's going on? Oh, okay, we're done. That, that lady was just still there for some reason. Titanic had 2,208 people on board. I have no idea how many died, to be honest, so hopefully it says... 1,496 people died, including passengers and crew. Wow. That's... Why did they not have enough boats? Lifeboat 6 was designed to hold 65 people. In total, there were only 29 people aboard when she left Titanic. Why? Everybody was freaking out. Why was it not filled? Lifeboat 6 approaching Carpathia. Oh, this is so cool. That should have held 65 people? That's a rather small boat to hold 65 people. All right, well, that was an experience. Let's go try the other one now. On the 10th of April, 1912, Titanic set sail from Southampton, UK, onto her maiden voyage to New York, USA. I couldn't read the rest. On the 14th of April, 1912, at 11.40, Titanic struck an iceberg. It took two hours and 40 minutes for the ship to sink. I knew it was long. Uh, I knew it was about a couple hours, and I missed the rest of that. This photograph was taken as she left Queenston, Ireland, her last stop before New York. The ship wreck lay undisturbed at the bottom of the ocean until its discovery in 1985. Titanic VR. Here we go, guys. Goodbye, title. See you later. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, I, I, this is freaking me out. I know I'm underwater, 
And that alone freaks me out! Is there... Oh, there's not sharks. Can I please... Can I please see? That's all I want, is to see. Come on down. Yes, give me light. Please don't have a big shark behind it. I gotta remember, this isn't a survival game. This isn't a horror game. It's just about Titanic. Okay, there we go. Why am I not in there? That's what I want to know. Where's the Titanic? Yeah, on vacation a couple of years back. Can I come on? Okay, uh, okay, I can come on. Can't see much. You're still Whoa. a couple of hundred meters yeah. out, and back to manual control. Shall we run an equipment test? Oh my god, I am not trained to be doing this, guys. Uh, do you want a control to- Yes! I mean, look at this stuff! Do you expect me to know this? Is this normal to know? Yes, okay, let's do sure. control test. let's do this by the book. Okay. Alright, let's run through the controls on the panel in front of you. Got it. The center left joystick allows you to move the submersible forward, back, left, and right. The center right joystick controls the yaw. Great. Letting you now let's left check left the altitude right. controls. Try what? the lever on the Stop. far right allows you to ascend and descend. Okay, that one stopped talking to me. This is ascend and descend. This is a rotate. This is to go backward, forward, left, and right. Okay, okay. let's do. If you look okay. down at your hands, you can see your controllers. The top button on your right controller is the info button. Holding down the info button will bring up the control diagram for your hand pieces. If it feels right. more comfortable, you can operate the submersible using these controls on your hand pieces instead of physically moving the levers. Right, now we'll move on to the map and missions. You'll see in the middle of the console in front of you is a map. Yep. It shows your current location as a blue pointer at the bottom yep. of the screen. As you approach the wreck, it will slowly appear on the map. The yellow icon is your current goal location, so you know where you should be heading. I'll update the map oh, this and your is goal so locations cool, as you go guys. You have no idea. Okay, we have a light, light over here. The screen just to the left of the console displays the mission log. Okay, it reach shows your current the goal task. task. So that's what we gotta so do. I'm sure gonna continue listening to this because it's important. For, I wanna check know what the mission this log and map for more information. Okay, I think I got it. I mean, I don't know all the fancy controls in here. I don't think I need to, though. I right. know that I this is how we move. Now that I'm getting close to the bow. And I think, yeah, the we're about to get there. That's it, right over here. Lights. To turn the spotlights on and off, interact with it. the button in front of the lever. I already did it. Am I supposed to do it again? You want me to turn them off? There you go. Okay, it looks like we're coming up. So we're going to ascend Whoa. a little bit. There's something you don't see every day. Oh. She's a beauty. This is... is that it? I can't really see too well, but I think we're coming okay, to it. Okay, first things first. We've got a contract with the Titanic yep. Society to place their commemorative plaque on the forecastle deck. Get yourself into position. So we need right. a commemorative plaque. Reach the deck. Okay, so... wow! So we're gonna go up? I wanna know what the... whoa! Oh! Oh, that is so cool. So, what? I actually control the... Dude! I am the controller of the arms?! Are you serious? How do I get back? I wanna get back! Um... Can I come back? Okay, I figured it out. We're back into it! That is a What a good idea! So you can actually control the arms and I didn't have to play with a bunch of levers to do it. Okay, so I gotta get used to this. Ascend... There it is, guys. The mighty Titanic. So we gotta go... To the middle over here. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not very good at driving this yet. Hold on. Coming up to it now. Okay. You'll need the Predator for this task. Ah, the ROV. Yep. Courtesy hey. of Flight Avionics and the hey. latest in augmented reality shark? technology. That's just a if fish. If you look up, you'll find a set of okay. VR goggles and a control panel. Okay, so it wants me to use this thing now. I've already figured Just this remember out. what I said about these new ROVs. Oh my god. The range is only up to 50 meters over to the deck. What the hell? Just happened. And remember that the range is only up to 15 meters. Okay, so I think I got it. We gotta go out here. Oh, there it is right there. So I have to use the. Whoa. Use this, and I'm supposed to get into an inventory. Place the plaque on the thing. Okay, there it is right here. How do I. Oh. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Well in family. Uh, looks like they got our, their own little plaque. So how do I... Okay, I can actually move with this. Oh my god. What an interesting well, I'll take game. a photograph with the onboard camera for the society. Okay, let's do Great. it. 
done. I'll head Darn. back to Sedna. We did it! No need. What is that? Just press the top Let's button on your vision. left controller. This is the return button. Okay. Here we go. Back While you're to the back ship. in the sub, recall the ROV by pressing the button next to the ROV goggles. It's above you on the right. Where to now? Okay, recall. Full breach on E deck. I'll mark it on your map. Oh. We're heading for his cabin, right? That's so cool. That's right. Eyewitness testimony said Henderson kept a journal. It should tell us more about his activities on the final night. Okay, so I think I gotta get inside the ship and probably doing it right... Oh, no, maybe that won't work here. Uh, I thought I could maybe get in this hole? I don't think I can, though. That's a big hole. This is a big sub, though. Okay, it looks... Oh, I see it! I see it! So we gotta figure out how to get in there. So we had to go to the outside of the ship. I thought I'd have to get in there somehow, but it looks like we can maybe sneak in my little rover inside here. So what are we doing? Make your way towards the hull bridge. Okay. This breach is from the impact with the ocean floor. Anything in here is going to be messy. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Um, am I supposed to fit in here? It's towards the top of the breach. Look for the so. flashing beacon. This. I really hope his briefcase is there. Okay, so here we are. Am I supposed to be above? Uh, I'm looking for a briefcase. I don't know how far I can go with this thing. But if we can find a briefcase... No, it doesn't look like I can get through there. I'm too big. So I think I gotta go back and up, maybe. I'm too low. <laughs> That's the problem. It's hard to tell where exactly I am. Okay, so I think I was just a little too close. Yeah, I can't even get in there. So I'm gonna have to get back to my ship. And pull back a little bit as well. I only got 15 feet with this thing, so I wanted to make sure I was really close. Clearly, I was a little too close for comfort. All right, so we're gonna... Where's the recall button? Which one was that? Oh, yeah, it was up here. ROV recall! Get over here, little buddy! And I want to make sure we're all set up and good to go. So it's clearly lower than my view. We're gonna do it like that. Pull this down. There it is! I see it. That wasn't too bad. Check out this, guys. Ah, I found a briefcase. I That's just a need briefcase? to pick it up by holding down one of the triggers to WJH. I think this is it. Well, that's lucky. Are you going to open it? Yeah. No, not here. Oh. Uh, assuming there's anything intact in there, it'll start degrading as soon as I open the case. This I'll have to bring so... it back to the lab before we can take a peek. Cool. Okay, so maybe we can do the lab okay. now. You should put the briefcase in the Predator's storage then. Okay, how just do we Just open and close the menu again by oh. pressing and releasing the info button. The briefcase will appear in the ROV's inventory as a selectable item, what and you'll have your hands free again. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it, like, went right. into me. That was if weird. this is the last task for today, I'll head back to the lab now. Yep, just return to the submersible and you can head up from there. And... Activate the autopilot and get comfortable. Oh, autopilot? That's what I'm talking about. Autopilot right. away! I'll see you in about two hours. Two hours? My God. All right! Ch oh, hello. You must be the lady that's been talking to me. Well, here we are. Do I want a controls tutorial? Again, never played, so we should probably do that. Let's do okay, this one real quick, I'm back too. in the lab. I need to complete the tasks listed on the whiteboard by teleporting around the room and interacting with the recovered items and preservation stations. Whoa, well, looks well, to be in good condition. The that was next easy. Task. Let's get this cleaned up. Okay, so it looks like we got some stuff in here. Hair comb. I'll need a hair to wash comb? the salt quickly before it crystallizes and the bone starts to crumble. Oh. Uh, desalinate the comb, okay. Dude, I am not made for lab things. I don't even know where I would go to desalinate. Is this desal- That's gotta be it. Silver doesn't look great after being in the ocean. This tobacco tin is covered in silver sulfide. I'll have to gently wash this using a soft brush, making sure I don't scratch the surface underneath. Okay. These banknotes are delicate, and we'll need a good rinsing in the desalination bath. Then we can I treat them as desalination, bath, right? Before freeze drying them. This journal is pretty special. The pages seem to be a fabric paper blend. I think the desalination bath will leach out the salt. Then I can go into the PEG station before freeze drying. Okay. This leather case is looking pretty sturdy, but it will need a good soaking in the desal tub to remove the salt. Then I can give it a gentle scrub with the nylon brush. Okay, so desalination, it's probably working station. Desalination, right over here. Okay, and what else do we got? I can't even read that. This is so cool though. So. I don't know what the working st is this the brush? Yeah, that's the brush that I need to use. Okay, so I get it. We gotta go over here. Let's, uh, can we just throw that over there? There we go. Just gonna desalinate these things. Do I have to desalinate the comb? Yes, desalinate the comb. 
All right, and there we go. Okay. Drying in the acetone bath. All right, so it wants me to wash the tobacco tin. Let's just do one at a time. I'm doing too much at once here, so we're gonna put that in there. Scrubby scrub, scrubby scrub. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Okay, is that good? We gotta do better than that. Oh yeah, we gotta. It's gonna get it all. Okay. Uh, complete wash the tobacco tin. What do we want to do next with this? We'll put it away over here for a second. Oh, I have to desalinate the suitcase, so let's do that as well. We'll just throw that over there. There we go. And back to this station. Uh, new objective, wash the suitcase. Okay, so it's desalinated. Put that in there. Grab it at the bottom. And scrubby scrub! Let me get that leather nice and shiny again. Oh, look at that. It's even got... Oh, man. Now it's clean. It needs to be soaked in PEG and fungicide. PED and fungicide. That's what this is, right? There we go. All right, it's ready for freeze drying. Freeze drying? That's that's how you preserve these. You freeze dry them. Okay, we got acetone and freeze dry. So we are going to. Uh, how do I get this? Oh God, I gotta actually move this with my hands the right way. Okay, flip it around. Close the damn lid. Close your lid. Just just shove it in there. There we go. Good enough. Did I break it? Oh god! I think I broke. I don't want to break it! Hold on, hold on, this is important stuff. I can't seem to close the damn lid though. Come on, close. Alright, we're just gonna pretend that that works. There it goes! Looks like it's working. Good enough. Okay, what happens now? Is it. It's freeze dried now, so. This one's good, I think. This one's done, right? Okay, so we got one done. I'll just throw it over here for now. I think that should be good. What do we got next? Treat the journal with fungicide. So we got the journal in this bath. That's the fungicide over here. So we'll do that. Uh, what new objective? Freeze dry the journal. Okay, so we will do that now. Well, this thing is cooking. We'll put something else on. Dude, this is like a real job. This is great. All right, money needs to go in fungicide as well. Anything else in fungicide? Uh, place the comb in the acetone. Okay, so acetone was over here. As we go grab the freeze dry thing. We'll throw it in the acetone. There we go. It says open the journal. How do I open this? I wanna, I wanna actually open it, but I don't know how to do it. All right, not really sure how to open the journal, so we're going to go back to freeze drying this because it wants me to freeze dry the money. I think the comb's ready. We can actually use this for storage, but I haven't been really doing that. So the only thing, uh, conserve the money. Okay, so it looks like the only thing I have to do is figure out how to open the damn journal. Oh, there we go. I had to use both my hands. Uh, turn the journal page. Okay, I'll try and do that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. What is this? Looks like a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of April 14th. That's cool. strange. I haven't found any reference to one being sent. I wonder what it said. We can check with our sponsor when she calls. We could also search the first class purser's office tomorrow. See if we can find the record book. Passengers placed and paid for their telegraph messages at the purser's office. And the record book would give us confirmation if the telegraph message was organized. We could also check the Marconi room to check if the message survived. Telegraphs were put into canisters before being sent through the pneumatic tubes, and it's possible the canisters survived. Here's our sponsor. We can tell her the news. Hello, Hi, sponsor. Jean. How are you both? Hi, Jillian. We're doing great. We've just finished cleaning the artifacts. On the thing. From the I, thought, I thought she'd be on we the thing. We managed to access Henderson's cabin and retrieve his briefcase. Wonderful. Inside, we found his journal, a few personal items Oops. still in good condition. One interesting item is a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of the sinking. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't know William sent a message. That's what we thought. It's possible it wasn't sent, and that it's still in either the purse You're yawning! You can't talk and yawn at the same time! We're thinking our next dive should be to explore these rooms. I know teams have searched the Marconi room before, but I didn't think the purser's office was accessible. Oh. Yeah, up till now it's been off limits due to the size of ROV, but ours is small enough to access it. We're hoping we might find the purse's record book, with I'm the doing. message listed. As for the Marconi room, other dives have shown most of the furniture is deteriorated, but the telegraph canisters might have survived. Hmm, sounds plausible. Let me know if you find anything. I'd love to oh, see Oh, she's the over there! Sent. What's up, lady? The letters from Southampton. I noticed something odd in his journal. On the 14th, he mentions carrying some special package. But I'm sure he didn't have anything reported in the manifest. Do you have any idea what it could be? Well, in his last letter, he wrote about returning home with a present for my great-grandmother. I'll do a bit of research on my end. I can check over the manifest again to see if we missed anything. Great. We'll let you know if we find anything tomorrow. I'm sending over photos of the items we found today. 
Thanks, I really appreciate the regular updates. It's making writing much easier. We'll talk again soon. Well, shall we call it a day? Not yeah, quite. we should. Jillian was kind enough to we order did good, man. We did real good. for our ROV. We'll need to fit it before the dive tomorrow. There Otherwise, we won't be able to reach the purse's office. <sighs> I'll get on it now, then. It's waiting for you over there. Thanks. All right, well, I gotta say, I am really surprised with this game, guys. Titanic VR, not only does it educate you about the actual crash, but this aspect of it really blew me away. The whole going down, getting artifacts, and actually cleaning them. You learn a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, there's still obviously more I have to do, so if you guys want to see some more of this, maybe we'll go deeper into it and do a few more voyages down to the beautiful Titanic. Once again, this was Titanic VR. If you want to know anything more about it, links will be in the description. Thanks so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. Do not forget to ding that bell if you do want to be notified of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.